This video is to provide tool resource admins with a few easy options to help improve how your tool or resource is found on Nitric. Two main ways researchers find tools on Nitric are through the search and the attribute tree over here. So we want to utilize those as best we can through how we set up our tool and resource. We'll start by navigating to your personal page and here you'll be able to select your tool or resource that you've registered. Go to the admin section and the first thing we'll want to do is edit the attribute list classification. Your current selections are limited to 15 and we've included some here as a little bit of test data. So I'll go ahead and remove some of those to give us some space. As you go through to make selections, keep in mind that you can make multiple selections. So if you wanted to include aphasia, you could add that to selections. And then also keep in mind that some of these categories do expand to more particular choices. So if I wanted to add alcohol related disorders, I could. Um, and then if I wanted to add all substance related disorders, I can also add that and you'll see how it replaces the one that's further down the tree. Additionally, you can add some other keywords here. And once you've successfully added what you see as fit, you can hit save changes. And that is how you change your attribute list classifications. Similar to attributes, tool resource associations are another way your tool can be found easily on Nitric. To make adjustments here, you will navigate to the tool resource associations tab, select the association type. For this example, let's say it works well with, and I wanna to jump to N on this list. So I will hit N and I'm looking for Nitric community. Here it is, I'm gonna add it. The association has been successfully created. If you wanna validate it, you can go to the summary page, show the associations in there, you will see that they are. Another high value adjustment you can make to your tool resource is going to be adding an RRID. To do that, you will want to go to the edit public info section here and scroll down to research resource identifier. Here, if you already have an RID, you will just put it in. And if you do not, then you can request from, from SideCrunch right here by submitting this information and hitting submit RID. Once you've added that information, you'll go down to the bottom and hit update. Another high impact change you can make to your tool or resource is to turn off functionality that isn't currently being used. This will help prevent confusion for anyone looking at your tool or resource and finding areas that aren't populated. You'll see for this tool or resource that we have some, but not all of the functionality put up. We have things like documents, downloads, forums, images, and so on. If you wanna make changes to this column here, you can hit edit public info. For this tool or resource in this example, we'll go ahead and we'll turn off the mailing list, but we're gonna turn on the task manager and the tracker, two items that were currently off previously. We'll hit update. And now you will see the mailing list is gone, but tasks and tracker have been added. Going back to the list here, you can make changes to anything that you want by simply toggling it on and off. One thing to note is that if you are using the forums as a form of support, you will not want to turn off forums, even if you don't want to use them for anything else, because then the forums won't be available for support. However you choose to set up your tool or resource, you want to make those adjustments here and select update. A final high impact area to make adjustments to is how users will get support for a tool or resource. This particular tool or resource currently has support set up with a forum as well as an email option. Here the user can select the forum and then they can go in and ask a question on the forum. If you wanna make changes to this, you would select admin, come to the support section, and from here, if I wanted to say, turn it into only a custom URL, for example, I might have an external URL that I would want to navigate to. And so here you can put in your custom URL and an optional email address is always available. Or alternatively, you can just choose an email only. And so here I might type the same one. And I will hit submit. And then here you can see that now on the support page, we have the support option for our tool and resource has been changed. This is a great way to make sure that users who want to access and utilize your tool and resource 
have the opportunity to ask questions if they have any.